to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back family and crew, creeps and peeps. Today we're looking at 2000's Urban Legends Final Cut, rated R, 1 hour 37 minutes. Legends never die, cutting edge terror is back. I don't remember too much about this one, I think I've only seen it maybe once, perhaps twice. It's from Phoenix Pictures, Columbia Pictures, 99 minutes. Um, this is a copy that I got along with the sequel. It's prequel, you know, the original one, and the one that came after it uh, off eBay. I remember actually renting this on DVD from my local video store, Video Library, back in you know 2001, 2002, when renting DVDs was still a thing, and not getting them in the mail from um, you know Netflix, and then not getting DVDs at all. All I'm gonna say isn't it weird that I've spent more money in the past five years on VHS tapes and not on any other media, Blu-rays or anything else. Strange. Anyway, so it's the sequel to the original, of course. I don't really remember much of the story. It just says a film school is the center of a fresh spate of killings based on urban legends. So that's what I do remember it about is being in a film school. That's why it's called Final Cut. Uh, this is the title was originally, or the first one was Urban Legend, and then this one became Urban Legends. So it's, they they pluralized the sequel name. Uh, the only people that came back from the, or the only person that came back from the original one was Loretta Devine, a woman down there. And of course, you got Hart Bachner who played the awesome Ellis in Die Hard. Yeah, Jennifer Morrison there, who later would be on uh, House. That's where I knew her from. Anthony Anderson, who's really big now, has his own show. Ava Mendez got really big. So it's got some, some decent people in it before they were big. And it's uh, directed by John Ottman, who before this, this might have been his first directing debut. I think he's done something since, but he used to be, he, well, still is, but he was a film composer. I remember first knowing his name from because he did this score to Halloween H2O, which I didn't care for. Because um, to me it just sounded like scream music. Uh, the characters are based on like, Silvio Hortis characters, and then this screenplay is written by Paul Harris, Boardman, and Scott Derrickson. And Scott Derrickson went on to, to do some really big things, including Doctor Strange, uh, the Doctor Strange feature. So I have to go back and revisit these. I plan to at some point. I just haven't been around, gotten around to it yet. Uh, I think I do own these digitally, maybe on Blu-ray or DVD somehow. Uh, so I won't watch the VHS tapes. Or maybe I will. Who knows? Um, so yeah, just a. Uh, Kind of a run of the mill sequel. It's kind of up there with uh, I still know know what you did last summer. It was just kind of a run of the mill sequel. Although that one had a lot of the original characters and actors come back, this one not so much. Uh, nevertheless, I like horror franchises, so I appreciate it. As always, leave comments below, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time.